I'm very interested in like studying the relationship between Buddhism and the environment, and I thought that Cambodia would be a really unique place to do that. Um, and that really has been proven to be true so far. Uh, one of my favorite days was when we went to Phnom Kulen, um, and there's like a lot of spirituality right within the forest. It's just a gorgeous mountain, but it's also so rich with humans interacting with nature. I think that it's a really good example of um, a lot of the materials that they talk about in class. I think it's really vital to have an SFS center in Cambodia. I think Cambodia offers a very unique opportunity for students interested in environmental issues to see a place that's in a very, very rapid state of change with very little oversight and planning. I've come to terms over the past couple years with the fact that I most likely want to work in environmental, in environmental field after graduation and also that I don't want to live in the US. But I'd never really thought beyond living in Europe and coming to Cambodia has really opened my eyes to other places to work on a whole bunch of different conservation strategies. So for example here there's a huge lack of information in terms of what kinds of water snakes are in the Mekong for example. What make our center uh, most attractive and different from other centers is that we are located in the heart of the city of Khmer Empire. Um, we're only 15 minutes away from Angkor Wat and um, it's the world biggest Buddhist site. My favorite aspect of living at the SFS Center has got to be spending time by the pool. Um, I really uh, enjoy like you know having an occasional afternoon to dip but also I really do appreciate the community aspects of living at the center. Um, I think it's really exciting that you get to live in such close proximity to your professors. You really get to know your professors on such an individual level way more than you would in any sort of classroom environment. So not only are they your professors but they actually are kind of your friends to some degree. I have a saying I sometimes say that about how I'm grateful for what I learn from the students I have the privilege to teach. And I very much found that to be the case with my students who come through SFS Cambodia. So I like watching students evolve in two ways, increased empathy and understanding of issues, and increased concern and awareness of their own, the role that they and their own society may play in environmental distress in places very far from where they normally live and study. Uh, I think my favorite part of the program has been meeting all the indigenous people who live around here and also learning about different types of conservation. So it, it was very exciting to learn about um, somewhere that's so far away from where I am and where I grew up so that I could bring that back to my community and talk to them about it with some real experience. One thing I really love about Cambodia is the people um, and working with uh, Cambodian staff so closely is really important to me. The people that SFS works with, the um, various community organizations here are so open and so willing to share their stories. So that's really special to me and I think it comes with a lot of responsibility to be able to hold those stories for people. My favorite field trip is to Elephant Valley Project or EVP because it's, a, it's such a special opportunity to be in the forest and to be able to see elephants in a more natural habitat for them. So I'm an environmental studies major with a food studies certificate. And I think this program really does tie in well with uh, what I'm studying at school. Um, specifically, we've been talking a lot about issues related to climate change um, and a lot of the problems that Cambodia faces have to do with deforestation um, and clearing for agriculture. SFS students in Cambodia get to conduct research that's quite often groundbreaking. They're quite often studying communities or ecosystems or organisms that actually haven't been studied in many, many years. The data that SFS students are able to collect can actually be instrumental in making those decisions about how you do find this balance between conservation and use, between preservation and restoration.